y'all, we're on the way to the big city to buy fencing for our raised bed. Garden. <laughs> we'll take some, uh, we'll show you what we buy. And we're looking to get the fence. Pay for our fence, and now we're going to go around to the back and pick it up. We're heading over to get the T post now. And there's a rock where we're trying to put one of our tea posts. They call this a fence tool because it's a it's got two cutters. It's a hammer where you can drive in staples. It's, it's got that point where you can pull staples. And it's got a couple of other places here where you can you can grip things and hold on to them. a uh, typical t-post clip and we're using them to hold up this uh, fence fabric that Donna's used to uh, uh, keep the deer out of her garden there's a handy little tool that you can use to uh, uh, fasten these a lot of people just use screwdrivers a lot of people use pliers but they advertise what's called a clip bender on YouTube it's pretty pretty easy to find and you just put the put the clip in place like that, hook it on this side, let this side go over the top, put your little clip bender in there like this, and then just push, okay? And it automatically uh, sets that side. Then you come over to this side, stick it through the fabric and grab that side. And again, just uh, You're sticking it through, push. not fabric. Yeah, that's fence fabric. Oh. Okay, we got the fence up and we have 
squash just going like gangbusters. None of them have bloomed yet, but that's what those huge leaves are. And the red potatoes are growing. The okra has come up. The red onions took. The peppers survived. I have some blooms on the tomato. My lettuce had to be replanted, but it's coming up. And you see how thick it is? But that's because I'm going to do some cut and grow again. But the fence is six foot tall. It's a two by four opening on the, on the fence. And for the door, we just curved it around right here. And what I do, I just unlatch it and open it up and then I can go in and walk around. And hubby wants to demonstrate it. So this is what you do to get in the garden. And the reason we have this, everybody keeps telling us we can't have a garden in the country out here because of the deer. You did a good job. Thank you. This is our second garden project out here at the JRC. And I'm creating a raised bed in this area. 